Sadhguru, majority of the people who fall sick, it's primarily because they led a life which would definitely land them in trouble. But thousands of children are born in this country, like any other part of the world, with cardiac problem, with cancer, all kinds of problems. It is not their fault. Why it happens? It shouldn't have happened. You know, six million Toyota cars were withdrawn last year for defective whatever <laughs> and about nine million uh, General Motors <laughs> withdrawn for uh, <laughs> ignition problems. It's a manufacturing only, defect. Only problem is you can't withdraw them. <laughs> Actually, nature is trying to withdraw them. We are not allowing it. There was a time we would allow the nature to withdraw, yes? All the manufacturing defects that came, hundred, two hundred years ago we would allow the nature to withdraw. By the time children are four, only the fittest would survive, rest would go. Now we don't allow them to withdraw, so we need a whole lot of things to run the defective cars. I know I'm putting it so blatantly, but you need to understand physical, the physical existence is mechanical. Whether you like it or you don't like it, probably all kinds of sensitivities and emotions are there about this, my physical body. But when they come to you, you strip them down and treat them like a machine, isn't it? A complex, sophisticated but still mechanical, isn't it? Yes. There are other aspects to it but fundamentally mechanical. Anything mechanical, anything physical, there is never something called as perfection to it. It is a constant work in progress. You can improve it and improve it and improve it. What we call as evolutionary thing is just that. Now, the parents, the two machines which produce this small machine, yes. okay? What condition are they in? This is also an issue which we have not taken care of. There are… there is a lot to be said which is controversial about this, but essentially, this idea that everybody must have children has to go. Yeah, I know I'm getting into trouble <laughs> But we… we are not seeing humanity as a future possibility. We are just seeing it as a regressive way of something that we can extend into future of our own, a footprint. Right now that's a problem. Our identification with the body is so strong, the physical body is so strong, we are unable to think beyond our biological identity. Once you are not able to think beyond your biological identity, the very nature of being human, the immensity of being human is constrained and constipated into a very small process. In this process, there are problems. In the ancient past, they handled this in many different ways which are absolutely, utterly controversial today and can never be brought back into this society, but they did handle things in a completely different way. They bred carefully, which is very important. We are thinking about… when it comes to animal husbandry, we are thinking of breeding right. As human beings, why are we not thinking of breeding right? Because we are too identified with our own body, it's mine is more important than what's right and the level of suffering that you bring into this fresh life, you know, you see it every day. Yes, yes.